Hello friends, Jennifer Pearson here, Thistle Gypsy. So this is not, um, this is another departure video for my channel. So normally I do the tarot and oracle related things. Um, but this is about something I've mentioned in my, my Sunday rambles, my oracle rambles. Um, but this video, so you can turn it off now if you want to, this video is about, um, protecting oneself from electromagnetic fields, pulse, whatever you want to call it, EMF, EMPs, uh, that sort of thing. So um, I had mentioned in some of my oracle rambles that um, I was going to get Mylar space blankets and see if they would um, work to insulate an area from those um, kinds of energies, waves, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> um, and the way you're supposed to test whether or not, you know, you're, you're protected is you take your cell phone into whatever thing that you've created and see if it can receive, if it receives any signal. Um, so that little thing that usually shows a graduated short line, longer line, longer line, longer line, that thing goes dead. Okay. Um, so the structure I had created, just a short, like four foot structure um, out of PVC and was thinking of wrapping it in mylar. And because this is outside, it wasn't going to work. The mylar sheets are way too fragile. They catch even a slight wind. It wasn't particularly windy, um, especially where I had it. Um, so that wasn't going to work, at least not as a square structure. Um, I was thinking maybe if I teepeed it, it might work a little bit better. Uh, probably what I need to do is instead of... Um, trying to use the mylar sheets, which are so thin, um, and attaching those to the poles, I need to put something else as a frame. I don't, it will probably be um, screen, because screen will also work as um, for a Faraday cage. And that's what these things are called. When you create something, uh, mylar is more just a shield. Um, a Faraday ca cage actually allows air to go in and out, but um, whatever hits the the mesh, such as like with a, a metal screen, whatever hits the mesh actually um, stays within the mesh, goes around the mesh. It does not pass through it, which is strange, but there it is. If you you know if you search for it, there are more. Somewhere I saw kind of a dramatic example of that. But anyway, so before I even took the mylar sheets out, which are very cheap, before I even took them out to that structure, it's just a square made out of um, a cube made out of PVC pipe. Um, so before I took them out there, I sat right in here, and I had got two sheets, and I, um, so I'm just sitting on a carpeted floor, took one and put it over the front of me, and I took one and put it kind of sideways so that I was completely covered, and you're supposed to try to, um, make all of the sides touch. You know, everything is supposed to be connected because, again, the idea is that these um, waves are going to hit this mesh or the mylar or whatever. And in the, in the case of the mylar, I think it just reflects it off. <clears throat> but, you know, you have to have kind of a closed environment. If it's a mesh, like a mesh screen, then it hits that screen and it travels around it. So if there's an opening, you know, there's a chance of receiving... Um, the energy through that. So, um, so I did, I brought my cell phone in, which I almost never use my cell phone. It's an emergency type of cell phone, a little flip phone. And I, um, 
and it always here has perfectly good signal and covered myself like that opened my cell phone in fact at one point I did it with my just watching well, I guess it wasn't until so I went in there and I opened it and the um, the little thing was down I couldn't see it and so I thought oh all right well where is I was having a hard time going where is the thing that indicates where you know the, my signal because it was down you know there was a little tiny blip there I could see something and so I took them I took the mylar sheets off and immediately one short usually there's four total and and so the next little one came up and it take it took about 30 seconds for you know for it to completely find a signal again um, and have all four of those graduated um, indicators uh, visible so then I saw I said, okay it's up in that corner and so then I put the sheets back over me and I just watched it go down again right to that so it works I don't know that I'll be using it in the structure outside. It's it's turning out to be not a realistic way of doing it. Um, but I could get, and I don't know, without the grounding aspect. So the idea is that you would also ground yourself to the actual ground. Put your feet, like bare feet or maybe stocking feet. But it has to be something... Preferably, you're in, in contact with the earth. Um, and I had even heard to have a metal bowl and of water and have either that in there and possibly even to put your put a hand or put a foot in that bowl, but just to have it in there. Um, and I was getting this from a doctor. I'm not as crazy as this sounds. <laughs> and there's a whole. There's a whole book called Earthing that talks about the science of earthing. Um, so this is kind of combining earthing with shielding yourself from, from the electromagnetic world around us. You know, which just around us. Um, so, you know, I was just in there for a second. One thing is if it's mylar, it, you know, a space blanket is intended to entrap your heat. And so even in a very brief time with it all that close to me because I was just kind of draping it over me as I was sitting on the floor um, I was starting to sweat and stuff it's like well if I want if I want a, a sweat treatment <laughs> that would work um, but uh, and then I went out and tried it on the frame and saw that that was really not tenable it's not something I can do um, so that's just kind of report number one. There's my first attempt at that, you know, and I can't say that I had some kind of, again, it was, I was only undercover a matter of, again, 30 seconds or something watching my phone and stuff because I really wanted to get out. It's a beautiful day today. And so I really wanted to get outside and try it out there. So I don't know if I'll try to treat myself using these blankets just indoors, you know, as a protective thing and just you know, do it for a few minutes or something, I don't, I don't know. Um, excuse me, one thing I know that I will do is in my bedroom, and this after my doctor actually also said, ooh, you, know, <laughs> you don't want to move your bedroom or you don't want to uh, change that arrangement. And it's like, no, I really don't. I like having my bedroom where it's at. I like having this room where it's at. It would be problematic. Um, but my, the, the situation is I have a fuse box and the fuse box is on the wall, pretty much right next to my bed. And, you know, there are a lot of things about this house where it's like, why did you do that? You know, why would you have the fuse box? You know, there's, there's a lot of things like that in this house. Anyway, so the fuse box is in the bedroom. It's the largest bedroom and um, the one with the, yeah, the best closet also. That's my bedroom. And um, the, the door to it doesn't close completely. I have actually a tapestry up um, over it. So what I might do with some of this mylar is um, put it over that. 
and see if that helps somewhat um, to, you know, if it affect, you know, if it helps my sleep. I don't know, just if my health improves in some way. My health is so erratic <laughs> that it it would be difficult for me to um, to be able to tell a difference and say that it's exactly that influence. You know, like over a couple of days or over a week. It, so it would be a long time that I would have to see that there was some kind of improvement. Like if I managed to do it today, um, I would not, I couldn't attribute that to, if I sleep well or if I don't sleep well, I couldn't attribute that to putting that mylar there because I did a lot of outside work today, which I'm sure will affect me probably for a couple of days. So, um, but I figure, you know, I, I don't think it can hurt. I don't believe that there's any way that it can hurt doing that. So, um, so I'm going to give it a try and see if that improves things. Otherwise, um, next step, uh, other than, again, giving myself some EMF, EMP relief every now and then, you know, and see if that somehow improves my health. Um, you know, by kind of wrapping up like I did, just wrap up in them for a little bit or something, or lay them over me, under and over me or something. Um, but the next step, I think, is getting some screen which is more expensive, still not very expensive, but it's more expensive than a bunch of, you know, Mylar is extremely cheap. Um, space blankets are extremely cheap. Um, and so get, getting that screen, because that will be breathable, so I won't, you know, be sweating within seconds. It'll be breathable. Um, the air will pass through it, so the air won't be grabbing it so much. Again, you know, with, with a breeze coming through, that mylar was just not, you know, wanted to fly away. <laughs> um, and even even with it attached to the frame, you know, it was bowed, you know, it was, it was like a sail. So that wasn't going to work. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe uh, a screen can be pulled tight enough and not have enough, you know, it, it won't be as resistant. Um, it, you know, the air can just pass through it. So that's the next, that's the next step is to give that a try, but that will, um, that will be quite a while in the future. I really, that's not where I want to spend my funds right now. So it's like the whole, the whole thing is kind of on pause again. But I just wanted to share that, anybody who, uh, because I was looking, you know, will Mylar work, will Mylar work, and I was having a hard time finding um, any kind of defin definitive information, because most people weren't, most videos at any rate that I found, they weren't doing it for health purposes, they were doing it to protect electronics in case of some kind of disaster or something. Um, so I wanted to get this out there. Yes, I can. I can sit. In fact, you know, just on my floor and just have it around me and my cell phone. Um, the signal goes down to one little bleep. I suppose if I had really um, sealed myself a little better, it probably would have gone away entirely. But there you go. So it does work, and so I wanted to let others know who might be. Um, thinking about that. So I will continue to experiment and I will continue to report on successes, failures, and whether or not it seems to make a difference in my health situation. Alrighty, bye-bye.